Okay, this is the fourth clip for the heart, and it's really going to conclude it. It's fairly short because there are only a few things that we missed. So right here at the base of the aorta, here's the aorta. You can tell it's the aorta because it looks like calamari, right? Right? Yeah. Um, right at the base of the aorta, there's a big hole that's been cut. A uh, vessel's been cut off. That's the brachiocephalic. And we can tell it's brachiocephalic because if you look back, if I push it through, you see it comes out into the, right, the uh, left ventricle. Okay, another thing that I wanted to show you that you don't see on all the hearts because I haven't cut them this way, is right here we've cut through the right ventricular wall. Now this is the ventral side, we can see because of this diagonal interventricular sulcus. And if we open that ventricle up, we can see that there is a shirt pocket right here. And that shirt pocket is a pulmonary semilunar valve. There are three of them, there's one in the back, but as long as you see with this one, you're, you're good. And then the last thing I want to get maybe a little bit better than I did on the other heart, we can see coronary arteries and veins. This is the left side because it's got thicker walls. You see that there's an opening here. That's a coronary artery. It's got thick walls. And there's an opening right here, coronary vein. Thin, thin walls, thinner than a piece of paper. So coronary vein, coronary artery. They carry about the same amount of blood. Coronary vein has a lot less pressure so it can deal with it with a thinner wall. And that pretty much concludes the heart.